Hey guys, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math channel and today I'm going to teach you 5 Excel hacks that you should know and this will be the first episode. There are more subsequent episodes to come. Okay, so as long as you like this video, you know, you share this video itself, I will continue to include more tips and tricks uh, about using Excel to help you to speed up your productivity, that's for sure. And here we go. These are the 5 Excel hacks I'm going to introduce. Alright, the first Excel hack that you should know is to is, is about dragging down a setting number. So what does it basically uh, do? It's that, okay, let's say for example, you have a consecutive numbers and you want to label each row uh, consecutively. So most of the time people will do like this, alright, they will start off with 1 and then followed by 2, 3, 4 and so on and so forth. And then let's say if you want to label 100 rows, this could be a, a long daunting task it will take very well for you to complete but there's a trick for you to actually do that so what you have to do is to actually um, highlight all right you just need to highlight three first three consecutive numbers and then you just drag all the way down all right you drag all the way down and then you realize that you know each row itself are labeled you know consecutively and tada this helps you to actually save time all right you can also do that in the descending order as well, what you have to do is as long as the first three rows itself is in descending orders, highlight the first three rows, after that, drag it down. So drag it down and then you realize that, oh, the numbers are all in the descending order. So that is tip number one, which is to drag down the setting orders, numbers, all right, or descending numbers, all right, in order to help you save time. Let's move on to the second Excel head. Alright, the second Excel hack involves dragging down dates. So what does it basically mean? Um, it is actually very commonly used because let's say if you want to label each row uh, consecutive dates, uh, especially you have a particular column yourself that involves timestamps and, uh, and you want to label each row um, consecutively. So basically, um, let's take a look at this example itself. So the dates uh, here, it was stated as day slash month slash year 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 so you know if especially if you want to label all the way to december it'll be very troublesome it will take quite a lot of time but there is a small trick so what you have to do same thing as uh the point number one what you have to do is to just highlight um the first three consecutive um cell after that you just drag all the way down and then okay you will be able to come out uh you'll be able to come out with uh the dates itself in a in a you know in a consecutive order which is helps you to save a lot of time so there we go this is excel hack number two and the next excel hack will be to select the alternate columns and rows and this is very useful if you want to copy several columns or rows but they are not side by side with each other and uh, copy into the next sheet or whatsoever there is a small trick for you so let's take a look at this example um very small data sets but okay i want to copy column j column h column l and column m into the next uh, uh to the into sheet two so what you can do is actually click on okay the column first column h first then after that press ctrl c then after that hold the control button down and then press j and then press l and then press m like this and then click on c all right so once again just let you know first thing first you have to click on column h first then after that press ctrl c then after that hold at the same time okay let go of the c but you hold the control button at the same time click on j l and m and then you click on c after which okay you can you can actually copy you know the columns and they will be consecutive with each other all right and so here you go, this is the third hack that you need to know. Let us move on to the fourth hack then. Well, the next hack I'm going to teach you is to actually uh, double click to apply formulas to all the rows itself. This is especially useful if you want to apply uh, a particular formula across all rows itself in a particular column. So let's take a look at this example, the similar example as just now, but I add one more column uh, in column N okay which is a formula column so if you were to look at this first cell itself all right so if you were to look at entry itself it is actually a formula okay so this formula is uh, made up of uh, l3 which is this cell plus this cell and you'll get this cell so you want to apply uh, this 
cell formula to the subsequent rows in column M. So instead of um, you know just have to keep on typing the formula, you can actually click on this small little dot down here. Double click it, okay, and then okay, it will all be applied, okay, throughout, okay, the column itself. So this formula will be applied throughout the column itself. As you can see, um, this N4 is made out of uh, L4 plus M4, which is correct, and this N5 is made out of L5 plus M5, and this N6, okay, will is made out of L6 plus M6, so on and so forth. And, and this is especially very useful if you want to apply formulas, okay, throughout the rows. And let us proceed to last but not least, color coding cells using Format Painter. All right, welcome to the last hack, which is to color code cells using Format Painter. And this is very useful if you want to color code certain cells, but you do not want to click on, keep on using this uh, fill color um, function. All right. So basically, let's say, for example, if you want to color code um, like a particular uh, cell, which contains the value 8. So as you can see, uh, in this whole data set itself, only from N3 to N8, N9 itself, okay, that uh, this all these cells contains value eight, and you want to color code it yellow. All right. Uh, of course, one thing you can do is to actually you know change the you know, few colors whatsoever. But there's another function down here which you it may be useful for you, which is the format painter. So what you have to do is to click on a particular cell. Um, you know, like click on a particular cell that contains the color. So which is in this case, A7 contains the yellow color. Okay, what you have to do is to click on Format Painter and then click on this, uh, and then click on you know, you know, N3 itself. Okay, to label. Okay, so click on Format Painter, do the same thing, and then click on Format Painter and then do the same thing, and so on and so forth. All right, all right. So just click on Format Painter and paint it here, and click on Format Painter and paint it. This this cell, this cell turns yellow. All right. So color code cell using Format Painter check all right that's it for the five excel hacks that you should know i am bob if you guys need more help or uh, if you think that this is really useful for you leave a like and do comment in the comment section below for any comments that you want to you know say or whatsoever um if i get enough likes okay there will be a part two and a part three and so on and so forth thank you guys for watching and hope you guys improve your productivity and of course impress your voice and Bob signing off from here. Thank you for watching.